Hello and welcome to GED Mathematics Live at Pulse. In this video, we will be looking at circles. To start, let us define circle. A circle is a figure in which all points on the edge of the circle are the same distance from the central point. And the central point is called the origin. And now, let us identify the basic parts of a circle. The first one is the diameter. The diameter of a circle, as shown on the screen, is the straight line distance all the way across the circle passing through the center. Next is the radius. The radius of a circle is a straight line distance from the center of the circle to any point on its edge. The radius is generally indicated by the letter R and the diameter is always twice the length of the radius. Or to put it another way, the radius is always half the length of the diameter. Finally, the distance around the outside of a circle is called its circumference. The circumference is generally indicated by the letter C. Area is equals to pi r squared. Circumference C is equals to 2 pi r. The Greek letter pi represents a constant that is approximately equal to 3.14. When working with pi, you can either use this approximation or use the pi button on your calculator for a more exact answer. Let's try an example. What is the area of a circle with a diameter of 6 meters? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. If the diameter is 6, so the radius is 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3 meters. Using the area formula, then plugging in the radius on the formula, we have A is equal to pi times 3 to the power of 2. Then simplifying, we have 9 pi. And the final answer is 28.3 square meters. Let's have another example. A circular garden with a radius 10 feet will be completely enclosed with a wire fence. How many feet of fencing will this project require? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. The distance completely around the, the garden, around the circular garden, is the circumference. So we will be using the circumference formula. So the circumference formula, and by plugging in the given, we have C is equals to 2 pi times 10. 10 is the radius. Now, solving, we've got 20 pi, and the answer is 62.8. So therefore, the project will require 62.8 feet of fencing. Another example, if the area of a circle is 16 pi square feet, then what is its diameter? So we are looking for the diameter. So using the area formula, because we have uh, the area given, we have 16 pi is equals to pi r squared. Dividing both sides by pi, it gives us 16 is equals to 
r squared. Then r is equals to the square root of 16 and minus square root of 16. So we have two values. R is equals to 4 and negative 4. Since we are talking about length or distance, so we will be picking up the positive 4 as the value. So to 4 will be the radius, so the diameter is 4 times 2 is equals to 8 feet. Let's have more examples on the circles. Okay, use the following figure to answer questions one and two. Okay, the first question is, what is the area of the given circle? So using the area formula, we have pi r squared. So we've got 3.14 for pi, then 4 squared for the radius. And the final answer is 50.2 feet squared. Question number two, circumference. The formula for the circumference is 2 pi r squared. The second question is, what is the circumference of the given circle? So the formula for the circumference is 2 pi r. So plugging in the values, we have 2 times 3.14 for pi times 4, which is equals to 25.1 feet for the circumference. Another, number 3, if the diameter of a circle is 40 meters, what is its circumference? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So the circumference is equals to pi d or 2 pi r. Since we have the diameter, so we can use the formula pi d, which is equals to 3.14 for pi times 40 for the diameter is equals to 125.6 meters. Question number four. The area of a circular region is approximately 100 square feet. To the nearest tenth, what is the radius of this circle? Question number five. If the circumference of a circle is approximately 30 pi inches, what is the diameter of the circle? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So both of the questions needs to be rounded to the nearest tenth. So number four. Number four, the area. The area is, the area formula is pi r squared is equals to 100 feet squared. Then, dividing both sides by pi, so we have r squared is equals to 100 divided pi, which is equals to 31.85. Then, the square root of 31.85 is 5.6. So, the radius is 5.6 feet. Number five we need to find the diameter of the circle with uh, a circumference that is approximately 30 pi. So using the circumference formula, we've got 2 pi r or pi d is equals to 30 pi. Then the, the diameter is equals to 35 divided by pi, which is equals to 30 inches. That's the end of our video. If you have any question or if you did not understand part of the presentation, you can comment below. And if you want to know more about Phuket Pulse, you can visit us on www.phuketpulse.org or you can contact us through our Facebook, Phuket Pulse, or you can call us on 081-417-0978.